welcome back to my channel so I think this will be my fourth video that I've recorded so yeah it looks like I got the same hat same t-shirt yes I do change my clothes it's just I did I want to break up the videos because I had a few reviews and unboxings to do unboxings to do so I did open the package because I didn't know what it was because I was expecting I don't know what I was expecting until I opened it. I was like, oh my God, it's here. So you ever see on Instagram, well, this is where I've seen it. I don't know if they had advertised it anywhere else, but there was a product. You know, sometimes when you see products, they say, oh, this thing is coming out. Go to this website or this Instagram page and then go to their site and pre-order the product, right? So I'm like, hmm, this is actually pretty, pretty neat in the sense of what it does. So then I went to YouTube, watched a few videos, and it looks like they went. They were on Kickstarter first to get a few orders in, I guess basically to see if they were going to sell enough in order to get enough revenue in to make up more orders or pre-orders. I guess that's how that works, I don't know. So the product I'm talking about is Pivo, P-I-V-O, and what it is is a device that you put your cell phone camera on and that if you're recording live, like on Facebook or Instagram live, or just video clips or even taking photographs, that it'll recognize you and that it will then move with you. Meaning that your phone will move with you because your phone is on this, I guess, tripod, but it's not a tripod, like a holder device. So maybe you guys seen it, I don't know. So I'm like, Okay, should I purchase it? I don't know. It was on sale because they were having a sale for that time when it was first when they were taking the pre-orders for it. So I just I went ahead and bought it. I said I figure if I'm purchasing with the credit card, I can always fight the charges if it doesn't come through. Which I thought was really strange because when I got the confirmation of shipment being delivered, it was coming from China. But then when I look at the packaging, nowhere on here shows shipment from China. No, all I have is the United States Postal tracking number, but this wasn't the tracking number that I was given. So I'm wondering if they had received their own massive order to show that their items, that your item was being received, but it was being being delivered directly to the supplier, and then the supplier would take out the shipment or the items and then separate it who ordered what. Maybe that's how that works, I don't know. Okay. So what, the one that I ordered was the, the complete package. So basically what that means, you got the, 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 um, the holder, tripod, however you want to call it, the actual PIPBO device. I got like this little box that you can put just uh, I, items in to display, kind of like a shadow box. I think this is what it is. Let me double check. Yeah, so you got this shadow box. Oh man, I don't remember how much I paid for it, honestly. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm just doing an unboxing. I'm not gonna do a, a complete review of it because I haven't used it yet. So, you guys let me know if you wanna see an actual review of it. So, it's a light box. Let me rephrase myself. There you go, the light box. Okay. And then it comes with this pivotal like tray stand that it'll move. I'm not sure, this probably goes on the tripod. Let me not say tripod because it's not what it is. But it goes on there and then it'll move around so you can put like an object on there, which is kind of nice. Um, the power cord, I believe, or USB power cord. And then the actual item itself. It's nice, I like this carrying case. So, I got red, it come, looks like it comes either in blue, red, yellow, and black. The only difference is that it's right here. That's where you're gonna see the coloring. I'm not sure if the other colors would then have the color to match. So meaning if this would be blue or if it's just all red, because I think red is their trademark color. All right, let's get unboxing here. So logo is right there. Oh, I like the packaging all together too inside. I'm not being over too much. Hopefully you guys can see it. All right, let me throw some of this in here. So let's get to the main piece here. 
oh wow, it's really in here, which is good so that it doesn't fall out. That was my concern. That's the reason why I wasn't leaning over too much with it because I didn't want it to break. Watch, and then I end up breaking it. Wow, it's really in here. Okay, so here's the device itself. I'm gonna charge it because I'm assuming it needs to be charged. So, yeah. Then, okay. These pieces are really in here, which is good. I'm not complaining that it's really good that the devices or the, uh, the pieces themselves fit in this. So USB looks like, I forgot what this little tool is called to tighten up things. A clamp on one side over here. And then it looks like you also get a remote. So here's the remote. What does this remind you of? Like back in the day, like Apple Shuffle, Right? Or is it just me? I don't know, here. See? Okay, anyways. And then this other piece, I don't know what it is. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna play with this a little bit longer. I mean, oh, it even has a thing. Uh, I forgot what you call this. You know, when you make sure thing, everything is balanced. It's nice, it's not heavy, but it's not light. It doesn't feel cheap either. Oh, so then there's this little device to hold this in. So again, I'm not really doing a massive review on this right now, just because I just got it, so I haven't. I don't really know every, the ins and outs of it yet. I like I mentioned, I just saw it a little feed like sponsored, whatever on Instagram, and I thought, oh, that's pretty awesome to have. So I'm gonna try it and see how well it works. Now, if you do want to see a review about the products itself, leave me a comment down below, like and subscribe. And if I know that you do, then I'll definitely do a thorough review of the product and give it examples of how it works. I'll try even add an example if I'm able to do it within this video right here. But that's it. A quick unboxing of this product. Again, it's just not a massive review of it. Just wanted to do an unboxing just because, yeah, I haven't got a chance, opportunity to play with it yet so I can't really tell you how it works all right thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it so as I mentioned before like subscribe leave a comment if you want to see a review of it um, follow my Instagram page at truly mke again truly mke and I really appreciate you guys following leaving me messages and I hope and I want to try to be as transparent with you guys and leaving comments as frequently as possible I do apologize for the delay in regards of uploading videos it just like I said, I'm a foster parent, and when life gets busy, it gets busy. And then when procrastination hits, it hits. Like, I'm like, okay, I don't want to do anything. Anyways, you know what? I should do a video about that, about my day, how it goes. Because I'm a stay-at-home dad. I don't work. I just stay here. Well, I do work. Let me rephrase that. I do work. I'm busy all day. Like, yesterday I was painting one of my rooms, and yeah. You see, I like to talk and I keep going. Anyways, talk to you guys later. Bye. So, I just set up the Pivo. Pivo? Pivo? Now let's take a look and see if it actually works. I'm supposed to recognize, I see a line or a red circle around my face. So, supposedly, it now is supposed to follow where I go. I have a remote too, so just in case, or I should say it comes with a remote, just in case if you want to switch or move the camera or the, the device to go further away or somewhere else or pause it. Now, if you notice, it seems like a delay. See, you may not see it on your end, but what I'm visually seeing on my phone is that there's a red circle and every time I move, it's trying to catch up where I'm going. It works. Now I just don't know if I need to play around with it just a slight little bit more, just so that I know the ins and outs and the quirks of the actual device. So right now I'm in my kitchen. So it might be a little bit dark because I did turn off one of the lights in here. 
So let's see if it does again. So it is following, but again, how consistent is it going to follow? Because there was a moment that it stopped in a pause. So it wasn't really hard to set up. You just turn on the device, you hold the power button until it turns blue. You make sure you download the app from when you download the app. Then you also make sure that on your phone it says Bluetooth, that's set up for Bluetooth. And then from there, um, there was another part where you then, I went blank, what I needed to do. You follow one of, um, oh yeah, set up an account if you don't already have an account through Pivo. And then after that, then it, you get an email confirming the email address that you had used to initially set up. So again, I stood here for a moment, not sure if you see it, there was a slight delay, but now it's back on me. So again, after I confirmed the email, went back to the app, did connect with the device, and then from there, it go, you went through a tutorial in the sense of like what options you wanna do, either focus on the individual face, or focus, excuse me, on the surroundings or actual movements. Um, setting up the remote was pretty easy. It actually was already done in a sense because it was already connected. So again, if you notice, let's see, if I keep walking away, if it will still continue to recognize me. And it is, because I'm not standing too far back, but far enough where if I'm doing a tutorial in the kitchen, will it follow me? I guess the, the bad thing is, is that, that you wouldn't want to do a tutorial that far away. You still want your video to be somewhat close. So, oh, sorry. I wanted to move this a little bit further. So, for an example, excuse me, I wanted to move this up from the counter so now you can visually see me. Now, is it still going to follow me? I don't know. There. So now the, light, the circle came back. So there was just a minor disconnect. So it looks like if anything happens during the video where it doesn't recognize your face, then you may want to stand in front of your, um, your cell phone for just a brief moment for a re to reconnect to refocus on the individual. So it does work. It's a little bit of a, a, a delay. If you notice right now, it's not following me. See, but if I go back, it'll regather my image of my face. Should now that now it is. So now it's refollowing me. So does it work? Yes, it works good, but it doesn't work well. I think it's because it's still new, the little quirks. I think also as a person who's recording the video, you'll get to learn your device and you'll know if you need to slow down a moment for it to catch up with you. So hopefully the unboxing and this little video that I just put into the unboxing um, helps. Hopefully I'm able to do it. Great, thank you.